Hi, I'm Shannon Hale, and this is The Princess in Black. My mom tells me I was making up stories before I could talk. I would sit in the baby chair and go, like she like dramatic pauses and like rising action and everything. But I remember um, in kindergarten, I wrote a story about a witch with long green fingernails and I drew the picture and I think that's the first story that I really wrote down. I think with this book, what I'm most proud of is the illustrations, which I had absolutely nothing to do with. <laughs> they are gorgeous. Um, the story that I'm most proud of with this book, um, when I was writing this first book, I just got stuck for a minute and I couldn't quite figure out how to make it end smoothly. And then I had an aha moment. And I think those are so fun as a writer when you're suddenly like, oh, and the ending just comes and it's slick and beautiful and perfect. I feel like those parts are the ones that you don't, that weren't me somehow, but just were serendipity and I just got to be there for it. I have several children and my 10 year old boy loves it and my seven year old girl loves it and my twin three year old girls love it. and. Which, is, which I think is really fun about this kind of a book when you've got the full color illustrations every page and you've got that kind of captivating and maybe slightly more complicated story you can capture an older reader, but there's high interest for a younger reader as well. I think generally the best piece of advice that I've been given is to be kind. I feel like everything else kind of works out and I'm a happier person and other people are happier too and whatever is hard or unpleasant goes better if we're just nice. With my first book, I had a bookseller tell me that um, there was a girl whose aunt had bought her my book um, and her parents were going through a divorce and she was having a hard time. And the aunt told uh, the bookseller that not only did the girl read it, but had begun to sleep with it every night, hug hugging it to her chest. And it made me realize that even though that book wasn't about divorce or anything specifically that the girl was going through, that you just never know how a book is going to interact with another person and their personal story and that it, it, it's a kind of an awesome experience but also responsibility that every book I write needs to be worth somebody's time enough that if it gets them at just the right place at the right time that there could be something in it that will hold their hand through a difficult time. I do think I would love to fly because that would just be awesome. But as a mom, I think I would really enjoy Elastigirl's powers because I think the reaching and grabbing and the stretching would just be very convenient when you've got two one-year-olds going in opposite directions down the street and you just go zip, zip, kum. Plus it'd be awesome.